Good morning. If you remember from last week on Friday's video, our cement mixer stopped working. So I'm here in our garage grabbing some tools and we're gonna go see if we can figure out what is going on with it. It is our new cement mixer, so it's not even a few months old, not even two months old. We're grabbing tools. Let's go see if we can figure this out. I found the problem. Um, actually, I'm gonna pretend I found the problem and that I didn't call my dad and ask him what the problem was, but the key fell out of the gear. So, we gotta go to the hardware store, see if they actually have something like that, which I kinda doubt it, but we're gonna try it. Now we just wait here until our gate opens up. Oh wait, I don't have an automatic gate opener. Our hardware store did have the key stock that I needed for this gear. We're gonna get to that, but first we're gonna we're gonna switch gears, if you will. Let's go over to the chicken coop. Funny story. Last night we went to the Dollar General store to get dish soap, and your dad caught you. Uh -huh. And he's like, "Hey, I was watching your videos." When are you gonna put your hurricane straps in for your chicken coop roof? And I was like, oh, uh, um. <laughs> We forgot completely about the straps. Luckily, we're at a point where we can still add them. So let's, ex let's explain what they are. Okay. So the way that hurricane straps work is that with an earth bag building, you want to tie your roof down and hold it on really tight because of the winds that we get out here. And the easiest way to do that is just to use the weight of the bags. So you, you want like, was it four to five layers at mm -hmm. least of earth bags? And so now that we're up this high, we can throw this strapping over top and it's gonna go down on each side the length that it's actually gonna need to go up, if that makes sense. Basically, we're cutting a strap that's gonna go over the rafters and over the beam. That right, connects so they're, the they're just gonna hang for now, but they need to be in place so that when we lay the bag over top, that locks them in. And then later, when we put the rafter in, we'll throw them over and we'll ratchet them down so that they hold everything really tight. Perhaps you just like to see what this looks like. Perhaps. Because I don't explain things well, and he explains things over well. Over well. <laughs> Is that like well done. overdone? Well done. Yeah. I described them well done. <laughs> okay. And they're very raw. <laughs> Mine are burnt. <laughs> All right. Let's get these straps on, get them in place, and then we can go back to our cement mixer and get that fixed. So the way that we're going to put them in, uh, we used U-nails last time, mm -hmm. but we don't like U-nails. So we're going to use cable staples yeah. like we use when we put in our Romex. And again, those really don't matter. They just need to hold stuff in place until the next until layer. we get a layer on top of them. Yeah. 
Okay. Ready? So we gotta cut them right. Oh, we gotta burn the ends too. Yeah. You know, We're gonna show them. I know. I just. Why don't we just show them? make sure we tell them everything. Well, we don't have to. I gotta like, burn it. People like watching, not listening. Okay. <laughs> we'll explain the other parts later. <laughs> Now, ideally, after you cut these, you would burn the edges. However, our lighter is not working. So, we'll burn them later. So the thing to remember is we're gonna have three points of connection for this roof. The first will be near the door, second will be on this back wall, and the third will be on the exterior wall, which we haven't built up yet. So we still have to put these straps on the back wall once we get it up, and we'll even start them a little bit lower so that there's more weight on that back to hold it down. Welcome back to Make It Monday. Today we're making roasted salsa. Now to start, we're going to chop up about 20 tomatillos, three cloves of garlic, half a red onion, one jalapeno, and one poblano pepper. Set that aside, and then go ahead and chop up one bunch of cilantro. We're gonna add our cilantro to the blender, along with the juice of three limes and a pinch of salt. Back to our peppers and tomatillos. We're gonna roast them in our Green Mountain Grill at 350 for about 40 minutes or until well roasted. Come back and check and they should look like this. Carefully remove from the grill, take them inside and let's get blending. Add all of these roasted veggies to the blender with the cilantro and lime juice and salt and just go ahead and blend it right up. And there you have it guys. This is my roasted tomatillo salsa. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so, what'd you call it, keystock? <laughs> keystock fits in here, but obviously it's too long. So, we're going to cut it to size. Wouldn't it be nice to have a garage door that stayed open? It would be great. Fantastic.
I would like to be able to say I figured that out by myself, but the truth is, I called my dad, and he told me what to do. It's been a weird day, guys. No work has been done on the chicken, chicken garden. garden. Yeah, it's been raining on and off all day long. Yeah, and uh, we had to fix the mixers. Yeah. So, just project day getting ready for the next day, right? Sometimes you have to get ready for the next thing. Yeah. That's how it goes. So. I feel like you should have like a motivational quote there. <laughs> so you are going to burn up the ends mm -hmm. of those hurricane straps. Get them and then up. We're, we roll them up and tie them or it's like zip tie them just to keep them off the ground. Keep them from certain dogs that may want to play with them. Or cats. Or cats or people. Yep. Uh, you know. They, <laughs> They're kind of easy to get tripped up on if we don't clean them up. So, yeah. Uh, That's it for the day, guys. Is that it for today? That is it for the day. So, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.